welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name's Rosie Fox, I'm the Farm Relations Manager. Today I'm just going to take a few minutes of your time to run through a couple of my top tips for when using ADM 365. Thanks for watching. The first one of my top tips I want to look at with you all today is all in relation to your payments. Um, following payments can be quite difficult if you've got a big contract on the move um, and you've got lots of different payments going on. It can be quite complicated to know where you've got to. So what we can do from this screen is actually look at all the payments in relation to one contract. So using the contract screen on the left hand side, you see all your contracts in front of you. If we take this one as an example, if you click into the payments section of that, what that then does is brings up every single payment advice that links to that contract. It shows you when it's due, what the total value is and the date that the payment advice was raised. What that then does is also allow you to get a copy of the PDF of the document. So what you can see from this one screen is all of your payment advice is in one place that links to that contract. Now for me at home, when using this system for our farm at home, I wait till the end of the contract, I come to this screen and I look, check all the different payment advices, check I've got them all, and then I know exactly where I am. The second tip I'm going to share with you today is all about fertiliser quotes. When you're working out your fertiliser requirements, it may not be at a time where you can get hold of your farm contact because it may be late one night. Once you've worked it out, you can actually go into the system and request exactly what it is that you're wanting. Then when your farm trader rings you back the next day, they're not ringing you up saying, what is it you want? What tonnage do you want of each product? They already have that information to hand and they are purely coming back to you with the price and the movement options. So what you would do is go into the fertilizer quote section on the left hand side of the screen. If you've requested one in the past, it will show you the details of it on there. If you haven't requested any, it'll be completely blank. What you do is go in there and press request new. From here, you can pick your product. So if we pick nitrogen, um, our drop down, we might select nitram. What that then does is bring you up some detail about that product. You can pick your bag size and then pop in your quantity. Now, if I just put 28 tonnes, it's going to stop me and say that doesn't fit in those bags. So we have to put 28.2 because that's what fits in the bags. Uh, if I want it delivered in March, for example, and this is the address I want it delivered to. So you've given details of exactly what kind of fertiliser you're out there looking for. If you save that, that goes through to your farm trader. It goes through to the fertiliser department. They can all see what you're looking for and they can get you some prices together. Your farm trader will then ring you back and give you the details of the prices for that product. By putting this quote request in, that is by no means you committing to do the business. You're not making a commitment to ordering the fertilizer. It is purely you putting a request in there for a quote. So I think this can be a really helpful feature as I know not everyone always has that little book with your fertilizer requirements in on them 24 seven. Thanks all for your time today. If you've seen anything that you're not quite sure of, please speak to your contact within the business. Alternatively, as usual, my contact details will be down here below if you want to get in touch with regards to anything. Thanks.